Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and today, kind of a sad day, we lost another legend this week, Tom Seaver passed away, one of the greatest pitchers of all time, so I thought it would be appropriate to do a showcase of the things that I have in his collection. Uh, Tom Seaver's career was simply amazing, he pitched from, you know, 67 all the way through 1986. He was a Rookie of the Year, three-time Cy Young winner, uh, World Series winner with the Mets in 69, and just had an amazing career. 3,000 strikeouts, 300 wins, so many milestones, uh, Hall of Famer, inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1992 with a then record 98.84% uh, in terms of voting. So just amazing, and let's let's take a look. I don't have a full Seaver run, but I have quite a few cards, so we'll have a good time looking at these. Of course, you got to start out with his 1967 tops rookie card. I have this in a four and a half. I got this last year at the National in uh, Chicago. Kind of one of those cards I wasn't really targeting, but I found it and I just wanted it, so love it. Uh, then you've got his 68 and 69 cards. You got the rookie cup on the left, which is always cool and kind of that familiar pose of Seaver looking off in his early cards. And you got a 69, gorgeous card there. You got 70 and 71, two tough cards for him, but awesome. Got a strikeout leaders in 71. I do not have his 72 base card. I do have his boyhood photos of the stars card there. And then we've got another 72. He's got a pitching leaders. For 73, there's his base card. 74 tops. I don't have his base card there, but there's his ERA leaders. Coming back over here. Here's his 75 tops. A couple of 76 leaders cards where he's pictured. Now I jump all the way to 78. Now he's with the Reds. He spent several years with the Reds. Uh, 78 through 82, I think. There's two cool cards there. Then getting into the 80s, 80 and 81. Mr. Tom Terrific, 82. Regular card, in action card, and he had an all star card and another league leaders card. Awesome. I don't have his 83, but I do have his super veteran card, his 84 Donruss. Love that picture back with the Mets. 84, they also did a couple of these kind of active career leaders and he had him on the strikeouts and on the career ERA leaders. Unbelievable career ERA, under three, which is just insane to think about. 85 Donruss is a card with an interesting history. The original card issued in sets for Tom Seaver was actually a picture of Floyd Bannister and so they corrected it in the factory sets and so this is the correct photo version where it actually shows Tom Seaver. There's his 85 and 86 tops cards. And his last card over there on the right, but we've got to turn back the clock on the left from 88 tops, or 86 tops, I'm sorry. And then his last card in 87, even though he didn't pitch in 87, his last year was 86 with the Red Sox. Beautiful Jim Mint 10 on his last card. And so Seaver is one of those guys that has a lot of autograph stuff out there, but it's it's not cheap and not a ton of it out there. But I do have a couple of cool things here. Here's his 82 Donruss Diamond Kings. And then I have an 82 Fleer signed. And I have this 2001 Fleer Greats of the Game. Love that set, working on that set. Just a really cool, clean card. Got that, uh, that's just a in-person autograph 
of Seaver on an old Topps American Pie card. This significant signature set is just a really, really cool set from 97. And I got a couple of relic cards of his from his days with the Mets. A little SP Legendary Cuts, and then the great Upper Deck Baseball Heroes set. So there you go. So rest in peace, Mr. Seaver. Thank you for all the memories and, you know, just being one of the greatest pitchers ever, quite frankly. And I uh, hope everybody appreciated this and liked it. Let me know what you think down below, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.